Why? 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 Why does this look so good? Before we get started with this video, I would really appreciate it. Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop with the plugs right now. We ain't got time for that. Shit. All right. All right. Persona 5 Scramble, more like Persona 5, subscribe, please. All right, get it, got it, good. Now, what is this game? What is this? Seriously, what is this? This game has no business looking this cool. It's so stylish. I mean, Persona's always been known for style and just this oozing swagger, but this, this is on another level. Why? This is just totally unjustified. This is not necessary. Oh, that I'm not supposed to like this game. <laughs> this makes no sense. I was supposed to skip this. Persona 5 Scramble was supposed to be Persona 5 Skip. I wasn't supposed to pay any attention to this. But no. Atlas is like, huh, you're going to skip Persona 5 Scramble, huh? <laughs> I'm about to end this man's career. <laughs> no. Please. <laughs> uh. Sorry for technical difficulties. Hold for one moment, please. <sighs> okay, sorry, I'm back. Got my composure. No, 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 I, I actually don't. Everyone was like, P5S, that's totally going to be a switch port of Persona 5. That's what everyone thought that they wanted. That's what everyone thought was going to be coming. Hmm. <laughs> Atlas was like, hold my beer and was like, oh, here's that Dynasty Warriors. But who wants freaking Dynasty Warriors, right? All right, all right, still haven't won us over. Nuh-uh, Atlas, mm -mm. You, ain't got, you, ain't, you didn't do it this time, uh-uh. We were all thought, we, we were all convinced that we could definitely just put, you know, the skip track on this one. And then Atlas just had to go, oh, oh, oh. this isn't even my final form. Drops a trailer last night Last night when I'm actually trying to sleep, actually be responsible, you know, responsibility, that's a big thing over here. And I'm actually like actually trying to abide by that. Sleeping at a timely matter, actually going to bed at a timely matter. But no, I wake up to notifications on my phone. Hey, there's new Persona 5 news. And not just any Persona 5 news, but Persona 5 Scramble is trending on Twitter. Why the hell is Persona 5 Scramble trending on Twitter? Because everyone just lost their absolute Phantom Thieves shit over there, all right? Everyone lost their damn minds, and for good reason! This game, this game looks amazing! This, this trailer looks fantastic! Fantastic with a capital P, H, fam! That's right, Phantom Thieves out here, let's get it! None of us saw this coming, in, in any, form at all and if you saw it coming you're effing lying you know it get in your corner you know you fib all right got it no one saw this coming of course no one saw this coming and you know where i'm going with this yeah that's right no one saw this coming this last surprise was something that no one was expecting don't hate me don't hate the player hate the game at me i don't even know where to start all right i i i, I really don't i mean this game is just i mean really i i I have no idea. I, I I don't know where to go. I don't know. I don't know what to say about this thing. This completely took me. I'm sorry again. By surprise. I had nothing. I had, I had no idea. I was. I I completely lost my composure. I mean, Persona 5 scrambled? No, no. But more like Persona 5 sucks to be you. More like Persona 5 shook. More like Persona 5. Sorry, not sorry. I just ruined your night. More like Persona 5. Don't be sleeping on these fools. You you sleeping on me? Nah, you ain't sleeping on me. Uh-uh. Nah, bitch. No. Hmm. I, I'm, I'm supposed to be informing you guys, you know, uh, uh, as far as what do we actually know about this game? I mean, not not, not much, really, you know, but I'm still, my, my mind scrambled eggs right here, all right? I, I, I'm sorry for all the puns, but that is all I have for you right now. I, uh, I mean, okay. I don't have just that for you. 
There are stuff coming out for publications about this game. You can scour the interwebs online and see that this game, in fact, is actually uh, Persona 5 uh, the sequel. Yeah, Persona 5 sequel. That's an S acronym that we haven't used yet. How about that one, fam? You like that? How about them apples or eggs if we're using this scrambled analogy? You know, this scrambled analogy should be scrambled right into the right into the trash because that's how crappy my jokes are right now. But I don't give a damn. All right. Persona 5 S actually stands for Persona 5 sequel. Yes. Persona 5 scrambled is actually going to be six months after the original game. That's right. It takes place half a year after the events of Persona 5 in summer vacation of our Phantom Thieves. That's right. All the times that we wanted them to spend more time with each other and actually bond with each other in the base game. Guess what? Atla was like, you know what? That's a great idea. So we're going to put it in a whole new game for you guys. Yay. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you hear sarcasm in my voice, don't take it seriously. It's just. I'm still I'm on I'm on cloud nine and I need to get I need to take it down a notch all right you know I need to chill and mellow out I just I just have no words for this news because I just not I did not expect to be just rocked by this trailer um, because that's how fantastic it looks and I don't want to I may be hyping up a little bit too much but it just oozes so much style and that if you go through the trailer you can see that there are actually moments in the game that we actually get to free roam explore there's actually a lot of fidelity in this game and a lot of polish and just the exploration aspects that shoot i know a lot of us would like to have explored in the base game which looks really good i'm not an open world type of guy i this i'm on the verge of despising open world games i don't think there's there's any need for that kind of excessive type of game design but a contained experience giving you moments to explore in free roam at your will in a more contained package I'm I'm okay with and that looks like what this is going to be delivering I'm more for contain precise experience over way open in excessive vastness that where do I even begin but I'm rambling I'm getting off topic here having moments to spend time with the phantom thieves that's something that we just all been asking for as persona, persona fans you know being able to spend summer vacation with the phantom thieves that's a dream come true hello basically persona 5 scramble is just gonna be an your it's gonna be our own persona 5 OVA that's right here's our beach episode except it's a whole OVA beach episode that's right <laughs> <laughs> but oh my goodness as much as i've just been oozing over the style of this trailer there are some small things that i don't really care for and that unfortunately is the combat i'm not particularly a fan of dynasty warrior hack and slash gameplay to be honest it's to each their own I won't knock it for all the fans that are out there of Dynasty Warriors. You have your game, that's your audience, that you do you. That's fine. Completely do you. You know, you even had you had the Legend of Zelda series do it with Hyrule Warriors. It had its audience and that game had an abundance of fan service. So I know that if they can do the Legend of Zelda justice, they can totally do justice when it comes to the Persona 5 franchise. They'd be actually right at home with that type of fan service. We love these characters and we would love to see them in just crazy, wacky, zany situations that we can get them in, in anything. Only problem is, it's gonna be canon. You know it's gonna be canon. All of Atlas's spin-offs for the most part are canon. Hey, remember P4? Yeah, P4 Arena. Yeah, that was canon. P4 Arena Ultimax. Hey, surprise, that was canon too. <laughs> remember Persona Persona Q? Yeah, that was that was also canon. Persona Q too. Yeah, surprise, surprise. That's canon as well. You're not safe. That's right. You have to be prepared. You have to come for the. You have to expect this. Atlas is not afraid to just take advantage of your lore. 
They are not afraid to take advantage of your loyalty. They know we need our fix. You know, we we, we got that itch, fam. You got that stuff, Atlas. You you you, you got that, that 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 story with our with our phantom thieves and our situations, and you got that story. You got that story, fam. <clears throat> We're sorry. Part of the inconvenience. One moment, please. <sighs> okay. Dial it back. 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 I am rocking at like at a 25 right now. I need to be at a solid two. I need to mellow out and calm myself down. Sit my black booty down and just think calmly and rationally about this. Quick recap. So, <clears throat> Besides the crazy adults that we see, you know, you have your generic CSI, FBI, police, detective, you know, Mr. Slickback looking like a anime Snape over here. Um, not much, you know, we have another character dressed in all white, red hair, kind of looking like, you know, Kasumi's little brother, you know, with this, or little sister, I should say, with the heart pigtails. Looks like another additional fighter. That's something that we can't take away from this trailer. Um, we get to have a full party in these fights. Looking like we can even do some um, Marvel vs. Capcom assist style assists in this game. Marvel vs. Capcom assist style assists. <laughs> anyway, we get to get back up, fam. We get everybody. We get the whole team on deck, supporting everybody, getting team finisher moves, and all about this business. So that's cool that we won't be riding this solo that we actually have if they're going to incorporate gameplay where you have the whole party at your disposal that looks really cool um there is actually a lot of other things besides hack and slash so they're actually going to give a little bit more variety besides just you know mowing down thousands of mobs that like most dynasty warrior games do there actually looks like there's going to be some puzzle mechanics as you can see and a lot of platforming actually Joker looks very mobile in this game, and which makes a lot of sense. The Phantom Thieves have shown to be that they have quite the acrobatic skills from P5 as from what they've learned in, in um, traversing palaces and different dungeons, you know? So seeing them harness and hone their skills all in this grand magnum opus of a game would be really fun. You really see Joker flying from rooftops and flying from light posts to get the drop on different enemies and shadows Assassin's Creed style. So they're really developing his, their toolkits as far as what they can do as Phantom Thieves, which is really cool and really see how they've actually grown as characters in Phantom Thieves. Um, we also get to see that, you know, the platforming elements actually like we get some like super mario odyssey moments where the game goes full on 2d and you get to platform and just snipe fools as you're traversing different plays so it seems like they actually want to make sure that they give a nice variety of gameplay elements throughout the whole game gameplay experience involving a lot of the mechanics so the gaming experience doesn't get stale that's something that i can very appreciate about their um their direction for this game and that has definitely took me by surprise um sorry no pun intended at all i'm being serious that actually took me by surprise quite a bit uh, to see they actually have gone pretty involved in the love and care that they've shown for this game so far there's a lot of homages and a lot of easter eggs and a lot of fan service things fan service things that really touches me personally as a Persona 5 fan and just as a Persona fan as a whole that they would give that much care to these characters. They know it seems like they do genuinely feel like they know how important these characters are to the to the people of the fan base, you know, and they actually want to do them justice. And I can actually think that's admirable and appreciate that. This is not just some cash grab even though it can be looked at that some ways, but they actually looks like they want to do some good with these characters and that's good to see. Um other than that, guys, there's not much until later tonight. As of this recording, there will be more news. Obviously, it's going to be late because they do this all in the Japanese time zone. And being over on the East Coast in the good U.S., you know, uh, we get screwed. We we don't get a good night, a good night of sleep if we want to stay up for the news. So that's something that we're going to have to deal with. And... 
if this game she keeps shaping out to look as good as it does already yeah maybe i'll do more coverage of it and actually be more attentive of it oh one more thing one more thing uh yeah there's actually one thing before i go that um that needs to be addressed this game comes out in the jam-packed blockbuster month or quarter of um february 2020 yeah february 2020 fam that is first quarter of next year and we already know that is jam-packed with a ton of blockbuster games um just name a few um let's see we got cyberpunk um we got the not so little final fantasy 7 remake um and this little thing that's um called uh, that we all are probably all are a huge fan of persona 5 royal yeah um all that stuff is coming out first quarter and atlas is putting this game smack dab in february 2020 oh but don't worry don't you don't have to worry about that at all though because it's only in japan so yeah there's no official western release date unfortunately for all of us um in the states in european regions in canada up north and all that stuff so right now we're kind of in the dark just to fan boy and girl all over this trailer and how good it looks not knowing if we'll ever get our hands on it anytime soon and knowing atlas if it's not coming out until february 2020 for japan we probably won't see it six months later most likely well hey at least if it does come out during the summer we'll be able to be right in summer vacation mode with the phantom thieves as we play all right i've gone on long enough and drag this video on long enough for all of you all i have to say is now catch you later fam